muy bien. This is our version of a breakfast taco. Taco tortilla, not so taco eggs. Bake it, chorizo. House house, louse it, slap it, eat it. What's up guys, this is Chad with Living the Van Life, but you guys already knew that because you are actually here watching Chad with Living the Van Life on the Living the Van Life YouTube channel, but I wanted to pause this video right here and remind you guys to get on over to the Living the Van Life website at www.livingthevanlife.com, pick yourself up a hat LTVL, pick yourself up a hoodie LTVL, or what about a t-shirt LTVL, we've got stickers like what about this cool Vanagon sticker? The classic Vanagon. Been a part of the channel for how long now? The Overland sticker, LTVL. What you guys are gonna see here in this video is actually this right here, which is a cool 2022 Baja commemorative sticker. We're plastering these things all over Mexico because that's just part of the culture. Stickers, we're putting them on signs, windows, doors, whatever you can find that's got stickers on it. It's just part of what goes on down here in Baja. So guys, livingthevanlife.com. Go on over, get yourself some swag, because like I like to say, don't be a fool, be cool. Livingthevanlife.com. Let's get back to the video.
cherish. To my first fish in Mexico. <laughs> so all the bastards said I couldn't do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
this evening we made up kind of our own version of some fajitas cooked up what we had of the atabata meat had some peppers from the local market also some chili peppers that we roasted over the top of the fire put everything together to make a bit of our own style of fajitas out here on the beaches of the sea of cortez You know, I tell you what, getting the local fresh flour tortillas tops off everything. Very, very, very good. Okay, well, I'd say this is goodbye for Bahia de Los Angeles, or Bay of LA, down here on Baja, Mexico. Had a great couple of days hanging out in this area, just getting to settle down and relax. Explore some of the backcountry that goes north of the coast from here. Bay of LA is definitely a special area. It's not necessarily love at first sight for everybody. One of those things that you have to learn to love. That's part of the fun of exploring new areas, new terrains. You get to learn about new places, new cultures, new ways of life. And that has certainly been the experience here, down here in Baja. So from here, we're going to uh, head out, explore some other areas as we start to work our way north as this journey continues. Well, here we go. Out here in the middle of the desert, driving along. There's just a random semi-truck burning on the side of the road. It's so remote out here that there's no emergency response. There's no traffic to help. There's nobody inside it. I see a person up the road walking. This is what happens in Mexico. Well, that's wild. That fire isn't that old. It had to have happened. We're uh, coming up on the driver here. I think he may need some help here. We're gonna stop and see what's up. El Fuego! No? <laughs> you need a, do you need a ride? El Panadero. Ahead? Yeah. Yeah, see. Como te llamas, senor? Ernesto. 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 You okay? Okay. What happened? Luckily, he was able to escape the truck uh, safely. Sounded like something went wrong with it and it caught on fire and he was able to get off the side of the road and escape to some safety. Uh, we were able to give him a ride just a few miles down the road here to this junction where there's a little bit of civilization. Gracias. Okay, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Gracias. Buenos días. Gracias. So we just dropped off señor Ernesto so he can make some phone calls and get the help that he needs. We are here on a spot on the number one highway that travels the peninsula where there's a long stretch between gas stops. Here behind me used to be a gas station here at some point. Now there are people that actually sell gasoline out of the back of their pickup trucks just using jerry cans to any bypassers who may be in need of fuel between fuel stops. This is part of Mexico. You never pass up a gas station without filling up your gasoline or your diesel in our case.
Please? I'm sure you do. So we were just cruising along Highway 1, headed north towards Catavina and came across this cool little spot along the side of the road. Eldad decided he was hungry for some tacos, so we decided to stop and see what we find. We're about uh, 10 kilometers from Catavina, just a very unique little roadside stop. Now we're sitting down to some homemade machaca burritos uh, made right here in this cool little place right on the side of highway number one down here in Baja. And this is what Baja is all about right here. Some little authentic experience here in the travels through Baja, Mexico. Today was a day of travel as we made our way from the Sea of Cortez across the peninsula over here to the Pacific Ocean. Lots of travel through lots of different unique areas, lots of different unique vegetation and landscapes. We landed here in San Quentin, which is starting to get north towards Ensenada. Decided that it'd be good to take a little bit of a break from van life, see if we can't grab a shower. So we actually found this cool little hotel here in the San Quentin area. Looks to be pretty nice, so we're gonna go inside and check it out. It looks like they've got a bar, so we can belly up to the bar for the evening, enjoy some margaritas, have some good conversation with the locals, and just enjoy this side of Mexico life. So let's go see what it's got. Uh, just waking up here this morning actually had a really great and relaxing evening here at the hotel it was nice to take a little bit of a break from van life and uh, shower up uh, we actually enjoyed some great margaritas some whiskey some really good tacos and seafood and just had a great evening chatting with some other motorcyclists that have been traveling through Baja and listening to their stories and their experiences so we had just a great time chatting with those guys so today we continue the journey north uh, this is the last night tonight in Mexico before we cross the border back into the USA and call this Baja trip a wrap. So we'll see what today brings on this adventure.
after spending a few days out on the Sea of Cortez where the desert meets the sea, we've made a couple hour jaunt over here to the Pacific side. And now the waves of the Pacific Ocean are banging against the side of the peninsula. The diversity that Baja has to offer is truly, truly rewarding. Within just a few hours drive, you really get to round out the Baja experience. Now we're out here exploring the sand roads and it's a completely different experience. ¿Cuánto dinero? 15. 15? Gracias. ¿Todo bien? Right. Adiós. It's still warm. Well, probably because we've been in the sun for a little bit. Yeah, it's got like a Bismarck type feeling like a creamy feeling. When I was a kid, back home, we used to have something like really similar to that. Almost identical, a little bit smaller. Sugar on top, reminds me of, uh, even though we did held it. So we were just cruising through this little town of Camelou on the number one headed north out of St. Quentin. All along the side of the road is packed with just little markets and little storefronts. And the side of the road is dirt and it's just dirty, dusty. And here's this guy cruising along with this wheelbarrow <laughs> full of donuts. They look delicious, so we decided to uh, swing over, pick some up. Fun little treat here on the side of the road here in Mexico. Oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Long cream filled one. Of course, we gotta give it a shot. Okay. Cheers to Mexico, man. Yep. Still taste it. Light, fluffy, ooey gooey. Mm. Okay. Well, guys, I think the moral of this story is next time you see a guy pushing a wheelbarrow load full of donuts down a dusty, dirty street in Mexico, definitely pull over and get yourself one because they're delicious. Two. Or four. Yeah. <laughs> well, 888 miles since we left the town of San Felipe on the Sea of Cortez. We made our way south to Bahia de Los Angeles. Then we jumped our way over to the Pacific side of things. And now 
We're arriving here in the wonderful town of Ensenada, Baja, California, Mexico. Ensenada is a very large city. It's a very interesting city. Hold on, how do you describe Ensenada? Keep driving. Keep driving. <laughs> I'll let you guys decide for yourself here. Let's roll some B-roll on this stuff.